Welcome to week two. You made it through week one. Really good job. We're going to do the same kind of exercises. We're just going to have a progression level on it that's a little bit harder. So we're going to start down in the plank. And if you, you remember from week one, what was important here was, again, to keep your elbows straight under your shoulders. This time we're going to hold it for 45 seconds, so I hope you practiced. Okay, we're going to move up here into the plank. We're going to hold it for 45 seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Remember to squeeze your butt. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. You're going to hold it here. Now the plank is a really good overall core builder and your strength. You activate your glutes, you activate your hip flexors, you activate your abs as well. And you'll get your shoulders involved as well. You're probably feeling burning, especially now that we're going to go 45 seconds, which is 15 seconds more than we did in week one. But it shouldn't be a problem for you if you've done our finished six days a week. So that should be six days of 30 seconds. And we're going to go five more seconds here. Okay, and we're now going to go into a side plank. Okay, so as you remember again from week one, the importance here was to keep your elbows straight under your shoulder. That way we stay in the joint and we don't pull in your ligaments. Okay, and we want to avoid shoulder injury. Right hand up, extend your legs, and bring it up. Nice tight hold here in your obliques. And again, if, if it's just too hard, still too hard for you, you can drop down. Go on your knees and up. And this is 45 seconds as well. So we increased it with 15 seconds, this one as well. Okay, you're doing great. Remember to breathe, squeeze your butt, and draw your belly button in towards your spine. And your core, get that activated. Okay. And I'm not going to say okay anymore. We're still holding it here. Again, this is something I call this exercise is goodbye love handles because it really creates that good stronghold in your oblique. So we got one more second and we got to switch to the other side. Like, yeah, as I was saying, it creates a really good hold in your obliques and then burn off that excess fat on, on your sides. There we go. Okay, and remember your core is like your fa foundation on a house, it's the foundation of your body. If you build that up strong, no matter what exercises you might be doing or activity you might be doing, you will not be as prone to injury. So that's why it's so important to have a, a strong core. Let's keep holding it here. And remember, you got to squeeze your butt and draw your belly button in towards your spine. And breathe. Just nice and slow, in and out. Keep it up tight here. Now go on your knees if you need to. Roll it up here. Okay. So you're feeling a really, really good burn here in the last 10 seconds. Uh, if you're advanced, take up your leg here and hold it. And activate the outer out butt right here. All right, good job. That was 45 seconds. I'm going to move into a crunch like we did before. Now, the only thing that's going to be different about this one is that I'm going to have your legs elevated this time. So we activate your lower abs. So again, hands behind your ears, not behind your neck. I'm going to go up and down. Now if you can, here we're going to stretch out the legs, and go up and down here, up and down. Extending your legs like this will activate your lower abs right here. So that way we, you have an eight pack, so believe it or not, you do have an eight pack. So you can get the lower four activated as well by extending your legs. There we go, we got two left. And one more. Excellent, good job. Okay, we're going to move over into a different exercise here. Now we're going to work more on your lower abs. So extend your, your legs fully, okay? Activate your butt by squeezing it in. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, okay? We're going to roll up your knees up to your chest and back out. Make sure that your, your feet do not hit the ground. So it goes a little something like this. Elevate them five inches, pull them in, and out. Now what you can do here, it, it hurts your lower back, is you can take your hands, Put it right under your trunk, so right in your lower back. And go like that. Create some protection for your lower back. A lot of people have issues with the lower back and a weak lower back. and So this is an excellent way of strengthening it, but if it hurts too much, put your, put your hands down here. 
If you don't need to, put them out by the side. And just keep going. Okay. I'm going to breathe nice and slow. Another thing that's important here is that you make sure that your lower back only leaves the pad a little bit. It doesn't come all the way up here. Just a tiny bit here. Got one more of this. And rest. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Going to move over into a bridge, well, something called a bridge here. Now, I'm going to work on your glutes here. So, okay, get your legs in position here and make sure that your feet are, are planted firmly on the ground here. Make sure that you apply all the pressure through your heels in this one. So, we're going to take our pelvic area here, make sure it's tight. We're going to go up and down. Up and down. Make sure you squeeze your butt all you can at the top and go down. Now if you feel this more in your hamstrings, so in the back of your thighs, than you do in your butt, you need to adjust your feet either in or out. Just make sure that you get all the pressure in your butt and not in the back of your thighs here. Now keep on going here. Activate your abs by drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Make sure you focus on your breathing. I'm going to go for 15. And we got four left. And we're almost done. So, good squeeze at the top. And we got one left. And excellent. All right. Shake up your legs a little bit here. Lay it out flat. Good job. Okay, we're gonna roll over now. I'm gonna go back into the push-ups. I wanna challenge you a little bit here. I want you to make sure that you try at least one push-ups off your knees, okay? Let's just see how far down you can go. If you can't do it, then just go on your knees. But at least try to do one. But we're going to go for 10 this time. Okay, get up in position here. Now draw your belly button towards your spine. Squeeze your butt, activate that core. And we're going to go down for one. Again, need to make sure that our, that our hands straight under our shoulders. There we go. Now, if you need to, go down on your knees. And back up. I want you to complete all 10 of them. Make sure you get a good breathing here. Activate your core. And we got one more. And that's it. Good job. Now, that was the end of week two. Again, six days a week. Do it two times consecutively, right after each other. So do it once with me, and try once on your own. I'll see you in week three.